The phone rings. It's Daryl again. Hey, Baldini. I'm like, hey, <laughs> dime. Baldini. Baldini came from a men's clothing store in New York City that Daryl happened to drive past one day on tour in a tour bus. Third Avenue in the 50s somewhere, there was a shop called Dino Baldini Men's Clothing. Somehow that became my nickname. Sometimes it was Baldini. Sometimes it was Dino Baldini. Sometimes it was Jew Baldini. <laughs> so Baldini, it's, it's dime. I'm like, hey, you, you get rid of him? He's like, fuck no. And I, I could hear him in the background. Same shit going off. And, you know, you know what people are like on fucking cocaine. They, they don't shut the fuck up. So, and Dime had already said he had done a fucking ton of it. So I'm like, God damn, man, that, that just fucking sucks. He goes, you telling me. He goes, that motherfucker's fucking my shit up. He goes, he fucking broke the glass. He goes, you heard that glass before? I'm like, uh-huh. He goes, he fucking broke the glass on my Kiss Pinball machine. He kicked over a fucking smoke machine in the living room, and he's chasing my motherfucking goat around the swimming pool. <laughs> Daryl had a goat. As a pet, with his goatee dyed the same color as Daryl's. <laughs> oh, why wouldn't he? So, I'm like, holy fuck. Much like you people, I started laughing when he told me about the goat. It's not funny, motherfucker. It ain't funny. That fucking goat falls in the pool. You think your fucking, fucking gacked out boy's gonna get in there? No, fuck no. That's me in the fucking pool wrestling a fucking goat. I laughed harder. This vision of Daryl with all his hair all wet, trying to fucking wrangle a goat in the deep end of a swimming pool, going under the water, and like the goat, bleh, like just like, I was fucking dying. He's like, motherfucker, it's not funny. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 